Hello again. A new day, the same project, you know, solving the AX problem when you have an amplifier hooked on your miner. So, uh, let me show you close the install finally. Don't laugh about it, it's just an uh, improvisation, it's an experimenting field. Here I have my antenna going up on the roof. I oh yeah, maybe I catch it. No. Anyway, so this is the main antenna, let's call it. It's an 8 dB rack. I'm coming from the antenna, the LANA amplifier, and then into the splitter, one of the ports. Okay, in fact, now it's not a splitter, it's a combiner somehow. Okay, and then it goes down to the Bobcat Miner. Nice and easy. The other port is going through this cable to this antenna here. You see, the install is very simple. The theory behind this is kind of exotic, I may call it, but uh, it's looking like it's working. The signal comes from the amplifier, goes into the miner, and when the miner is TXing, it's sending beacons, then it goes to the other way because the, the amplifier is blocking the signal. So it goes to this antenna and uh, we'll go down to see the numbers uh, soon. Here I have a Yagi antenna. I did a little bit of experimenting with this one. Well, I'm not so happy with the results. Maybe I need to tweak it a little bit. But anyway, that's the, that's the idea of the things. And so far, it's looking like it's working. All we have to do now is to go in my office and check the logs and to see about numbers. And by the way, I know it can be better. This is a very, very cheap splitter. It's the cheapest one you can find on AliExpress on uh, eBay or something anyway. So probably with a better splitter, I can achieve better results. And also, here are a lot of other things. You see, I have a filter here, a saw filter. And then I have a adapter and then another connector and uh, another adapter down there to the miner. And here is also an adapter in between these things. So as long as the project or let's say the solution, the idea it's working, then uh, I can have better connections here and do the things properly. Okay, so here I have my Bobcat with a 5 dB antenna declared you know what's funny in the last 30 minutes i had another beacon and the witness three hours ago of course the network is kind of lazy these days and of course the hash and t uh, <laughs> fall <laughs> so bad so it's like uh, uh let me see 494 usdt 4.89 euros you see going up going down I think it's gonna stabilize around five or uh, this number. Anyway, you see the point is, take it like a sport, take it like a ham radio, why not? So for me, it's a kind of uh, challenge. It's not a matter of making money, it's a matter of testing ideas and equipment and, uh, you know, just fun. 99% fun, if I may say that. Okay, so let's, take a look at this guy Bobcat with the crazy install <laughs> with the splitter and you know what's funny there were two beacons in the last hours so we got one here with 14 witnesses and I got another one with 13 because one is invalid here we are so uh, if you consider these numbers here in 2nd of September. This was uh, with the Lana and with the Heltec Miner. Better numbers 1, minus 1, 1, 5, 115, and minus 15.2. And now with this new setup, I have minus 133 3 with minus 22. Obviously, lower numbers. But like I said before, that's, that's just an improvising install there. I have 
three adapters and a lot of connectors and stuff like this. So I can, once I see that the splitter, in fact, splitter, combiner, you know, is doing two jobs in the same time. It's kind of combiner when the antennas are receiving and it's kind of splitter when the takes is going to another way or something anyway. The point is that the TX beacon is going out and this is very important. And you can use two antennas, you know, the standard antenna for TX and a very good antenna with amplifier and filters and so on for RX. This, this is really interesting. Okay, so we have like uh, 15, 18 dB minus lower reception with the new install on Bobcat. Let me check another one. Yes, but this one, you see here, minus 92, minus 96. This is very close. And if you see about the uh, signal noise ratio, it's very good. It's even better than, uh, than uh, before. These are facts, these are facts. Okay, another one, let's see. And here I had the new set, I mean, uh, new filter tailored exactly for LANA with the right connector so I don't have to use any adapters. Minus 90, minus 87. As you can see, pretty good numbers, even with this improvised install or setup, you know. And, the, and this uh, Mockingbird is 15 kilometers away. And it still gave me invalid. <laughs> Funny. Another one. All right. So we have a Yagi here. And I have a reception. Oh, it was on 7th of September. Minus 97. You see, it's almost the same. Oh, no. This was only with the antenna. Okay. So that's all I got for today. The idea it's great, the idea it's working, you can use it, you can reproduce the experiment. So uh, no more circulators, you know, circulators are expensive, you can use a very cheap uh, splitter like I did. And it feels like the things are running okay. I'll be of course with my eyes on the screen and check the numbers every day. But for now, I'm really satisfied with the results. And uh, as usually, please like, please subscribe. And uh, of course, don't forget to write. <laughs> I, I'm talking about comments and uh, questions. And uh, of course, don't forget to have fun. Bye bye.